Hi, King Boomer. I cannot decide whether you look like a Civil War general or a communist dictator, but either way, I don't like it. What's going on, peeps? It's good to see you. Wow, I haven't done one of these in a while. I feel like I say that every time I do one. But we're back with some English football chants uh, from 2023 slash 2024. So this is part four. Uh, fan, the fans' perspective uploaded this about a month ago. Um, this is my go-to channel for whenever I decide, hey, I want to do a uh, football chant reaction video. Um, and it has been for a while. So if you haven't, check out the Fans Perspective uh, channel. I'll leave a link in the description below this video for you. And you can check it out for yourself. But I'm going to react to his compilation of some English football chants that he's put together for us. So uh, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And hopefully there's some good ones in here. Here we go. Hey guys, and welcome back to the fans' perspective, and more importantly, part four of the best chats by English football fans. The support was so impressive on the previous installments, I just had to collate some clips from recent games I've Go been subscribe. to to bring you another one. Now, the chats within this video are from a variety of clubs about very contrasting things, but I can guarantee you, you're going to have a laugh. Got a Peaky Blinders now, if poster. you wouldn't mind smashing that like button and joining the family, because there are some amazing videos in the pipeline for the channel. And without further ado, enjoy. <laughs> oh, she faked it. Nice. Again, there's gonna be, there's always uh, some references in here that I won't understand because I don't watch football. But yeah, I'm, I'm here for the chants. I love the uh, chants from the crowds. Yo, fuck, man. I, I, it, it's, I, I cringe whenever the C word is brought up because YouTube doesn't like it. They, they flag my videos whenever I don't bleed out the C word. But my God, is it funny when they use it in these football chants, man? What did they have against his dad? What did his dad do? Oh. Want their bin back. Oh. Some of these I'm happy there's the subtitles underneath because sometimes I can't hear them that well. Uh, it doesn't happen often, but I appreciate uh, the fans' perspective for putting the uh, subtitles underneath. Nick McKenna. Why 
lost a shirt. I'm not going to lie. That, I've never said this about a football champ before from England, but that one, they, they didn't seem that excited about getting involved with that one. I don't know if it's because that they were getting their butts kicked in the game, but that's the first time where I went, wow, they really, uh, they're really not, uh, feeling this, uh, this chant or this atmosphere. I don't know. What was it? Maybe something is going on where they just didn't join in as much, but I don't know. That's a, that's a rarity. I've never seen that. The Silky Scotsman. That is a hell of a nickname. The Silky Scotsman. I love that. when they point out either random people in the uh, in attendance or somebody who's working at the venue like a security guard or something it's the people who have who are not even in the game i i think it's hilarious i love it it's fucking great man who are you oh. are they talking about the security guard in the front Oh, it's that guy. Okay. He called him a white girl. Yeah, if you're the champs, you can you can talk some shit for a year. Yeah. He's shagging Danny Dyer. Young people, I see. They're having fun. Oh, I think it, yeah. Bristol. Yes, you are. You're there.
That stadium looks dope. I like that the look of that stadium. I hope that's not the English flag. <laughs> yes! That guy, that guy's the MVP of this reaction. He's like, bring it. I like that guy. Again. Now they're getting into it, okay. <laughs> oh, this is so, uh, I love these. I love these. Y'all are crazy and I love it. Uh, Chris, that's a kid that's camouflage. What they're trying to camo camouflage into at a venue like this, I don't know, but it's camouflage. It's definitely not the right place to wear that, but if it keeps you warm, hey, <laughs> who am I to judge, right? <laughs> And he's dynamite. You know, that's something I like too. When they don't, they, they chant about a player, but it, it's positive too. It, it's even those are funny. It, it's just man, this is. I mean, and when I get over, I get. I gotta go to one of these games, man. It just it, just to soak in the atmosphere. It seems like so much fun. I've had some people set on the channel say how much they don't like football, because um, there 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 are those, but um, I guess David Mitchell is one of them. Football all the time, all the time. Football, look at it go. But uh, it's I'm I'm dying to soak in this atmosphere. Just to, 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 not just to say I've done it, but I really do want to go. There's gotta be something to it that I don't know. But fuck me, man. This Oh my god. To to pick out his dad. 
It'd be really messed up if they picked out like a, a different family member, like a grandmother or a, or a daughter or something. You know, I think that that'd be that'd be really fucked up. But I don't know. Shout out to the dads out there because y'all get enough shit. I get enough shit. So, but it is funny. What did that dad do? I gotta know. Okay, thank you very much, Fans Perspective. Go check out his channel. Um, he's got some great uploads over there. And it's my go-to channel whenever I want to check out a Football Champ video. And it has been for quite a while now. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the reaction. I still, like, it's burning in my head. What did that guy's dad do? Why is he... Uh, the focus of so many people in that crowd... He must have done something. He must have done something fucked up. I don't know. Somebody's got to explain that to me. It's still funny, though. It's, there was some good chants in there. I was I was a little disappointed to see that one chant where like barely anybody was involved. But that was the first time I've come across something like that. But again, the atmosphere there is just incredible. Um, I love going... Well, at least I used to. Most of, most of the sporting events I like to attend now are baseball games. Um, I used to go to more football games, but it's just the, the, the ticket prices now are so astronomical that it's becoming harder and harder for me to, to invest in going to sporting events, but baseball still, they can keep baseball games still pretty cheap, but football, uh, NBA basketball g games, of course I'm talking about American football, American football, NBA basketball games, the prices are just so, so high. It really feels like that those venues are like reserved for the rich now. It's 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 crazy. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's uh, I'm definitely not wrong about the prices. The prices are so high. But I was I was pleased to know I've had several uh, people reach out and tell me that uh, the prices for s some of these uh, football matches in England are are not super high. Um. And isn't there, yeah, there's something where, like, you you buy a ticket and then you get assigned a seat? Is there something to that? Because that's a foreign concept to me, which I, I kind of like. And you don't know where you're going to sit. They, they tell you where, where you sit, which I think is kind of cool. But, you know, I also, I, I mean, I guess it's because I'm used to it. But I also think there's something to, like, if you pay the good money for the good seats, you should get the good seats. I don't know. But it's I think it's cool that if that's true, if... Um, all the seat prices are the same and you just get assigned a seat. I think that's pretty cool. And if it's reasonably, reasonably polite, reasonably, God, I can't even talk reasonably priced, then hell yeah. I'd be so down to go to one of these. Are you kidding me? I would love to soak up this atmosphere. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the reaction. Let me know what your favorite chant was. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want and go check out the fans perspective channel. Uh, He's got around almost 15,000 subscribers now. He should have a lot more because his videos get massive views and he should have a lot more because he he puts he, he definitely puts in a lot of work to put these compilations together. So, uh, Or head on over there and call him a Muppet for me. I don't know. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. But uh, anyway, love you guys. I'll see you again soon. Stay safe, everybody.